Okay, today on 3 Minute Miracles, I'm going to show you how to make a blurry photo into a not so blurry photo in 3 minutes or less. I'm going to start out by opening my photo in Photoshop CS5, but if you have CS4 or CS3, those both work equally as well. Uh, now, I don't know if you can tell so well, but this is a blurry photo, and um, the YouTube makes videos kind of blurry anyway, so this must just look extra blurry. But try to use your mental powers of thinking to uh, imagine what it would be like on your own screen. Uh, to start off with, I'm going to uh, duplicate my background here. Now this is an extra step I'm taking just to show you the differences between what was and what will be. Um, but uh, I'm going to take that layer and uh, use the first filter of uh, Sharpen. Go down to Unsharp Mask. And uh, these values you're going to have to play with a little bit. For this one, I'm going to take the amount down to, mm, let's say, 70. Probably good. Uh, radius really is dependent on how blurry your photo is. So the less, the more blurry it is, the more pixels you'll need. So I'm going to take that all the way up to the uh, 150, 175 range. Right about there. And threshold has to deal with saturation levels. So we're going to take that all the way down to zero to try and get that definition we want. Uh, then hit OK. Now that in itself looks alright but not fantastic so we're going to duplicate that layer again and try to add some more definition to it with another filter. We're uh, going to use the filter of filter uh, other, go to high pass and then uh, kind of play with this slider here to see where you want it as well. Um, we're just going to use it to add some definition to the face. And don't panic, it's not going to look like that for long. We're going to go over here and change the layer type down to, from normal, down to either overlay, soft light, or hard light. Now, overlay is for photos that aren't super blurry. Uh, soft light is for photos that are a little bit more blurry and for ones that are absolutely hopeless. We're going to switch that over to hard light. And uh, there you go. We've got a little bit more light action there. Now, uh, before we go, we're going to add one more little bit to it. We're going to go over to adjustments, go to levels and then hit the auto level button to kind of take out that extraneous line information and uh, then merge layers, pretty much have it. Now with blurry photos, you gotta remember that once you have a blurry photo, you're not re it's never really gonna be crystal clear again, but uh, yeah, in three minutes or less we made a blurry photo, not so blurry. And uh, if that's not good enough, you can always go back to filter, go down to sharpen, do another unsharp mask and play around with it until, until it looks the way you want. Um, yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah, three minutes or less. Photo to blurry to not so blurry, and there you go.